years ago, most of the content we saw, there wasn't very much and it was mostly hoaxes. It was silly. It was trying to see what people could get away with. And then about five years ago, we recognized how much of a problem this was, that there was a lot of misinformation, but a lot of it was actually false, obvious rumors, people creating websites with headlines that were completely false. And that was what we were thinking about in 2016. But now in 2020, there's been a recognition by bad actors that that kind of content gets either taken down by the platforms or demoted in the algorithmic newsfeed. So now we see more of misleading content that's just a bit confusing. There's a kernel of truth to it. If I Google it, I'm going to find something about it. And that's a deliberate technique because that kind of content is very difficult to take down. It's speech. It's, it's not illegal. It's misleading.